hello and welcome to another video of pro traders path and before i start the video or go to the main part i really request you guys if you're clicking this video if you're watching this video i request you to go through the entire video because today you will find out some really good example of when and where to take the trades okay and how to take the trades let's start and yeah i mean i'm gonna explain what happened yesterday because there are some confluences coming up from yesterday if you haven't watched my yesterday's video i'll put it in the um, corner so that you can go and uh, watch that video or i'll try to put it in the description as well so without any further ado let's start so yesterday i took this trade that gave me 2.8 r so instead of going for full I could have targeted one to three or even like the low of this specific part but it's okay because i'm i'm happy that i have made a profitable day okay that's that's what it matters and today it's exactly the same amount that i have made as a profit again with the same confluence that's why i'm requesting you to watch the whole video so yesterday i talked about this inversion fair value gap that Keep an eye on this if price goes and breaks above that this will be a very good idea to keep an eye on i'll give you some proof as well also in my yesterday's video i talked about these equal lows that even if price wants to go and grab this liquidity and this higher time frame point of interest it first needs to clear out all these equal lows it may come up to these levels so what happened after is price took all these liquidity and up to this level but it actually created equal low over here which will be my long term you know point of interest or i think it just took that liquidity as well if i'm not wrong yeah so i just made the profit over there with that liquidity so far so far i don't have a losing trade why i will explain you later okay i'm not saying that i have like 100 percent winning trade or something i may take loses uh in near future <laughs> I hope I don't but anyway that's part of the trading so I talked about this one in one minute so there goes my proof mostly forms when a fair value gap was partially filled with immediate next handle I took a good profit that's what it takes okay so let's get back to the video so that's the fair value gap I was talking about in that video so when price goes above comes on that it's gonna go up what happened here is let's put a positioning tool let's say you did you didn't take this entry maybe like there are other places to take the entry but just just for the sake of the video stay with me okay so that's the inversion fair value slow i want you to put it little lower than what it has to offer okay and now, now let's target one to two first that got filled here if not that's your entry you clearly got filled from that to that one to three let's say like 2.5 yes three yes or yes now you already got a profitable trade over here i don't suggest you to go for one to three straight away because that will yeah, you know like you see how long you had to wait for that part but if you targeted maybe one to two or maybe 2.5 you have to back test it by yourself like what is the most optimal uh, area what it calls optimal risk to reward ratio that you can target that uh, without hampering your win rate too much you can actually achieve that still i'm targeting for this moment i'm targeting one to two because i risk one percent every trade every profitable trade can give me two percent of gain right so that's once twice thrice any any places like every time it taps here let's say that this liquidity market structure didn't happen it came here respected so you put the order here next time it came filled you up straight away it went to that one to two or even higher target okay that was that one minutes inversion fair value this one there is another as you can see like this is a hourly i think hourly or maybe 15 minutes 15 minutes bearish inversion fair value this is the one i actually took the entry for what happened here price did not grab the liquidity it was going for right or even even in this case when you've got filled it it doesn't have a 
very good liquidity level on the left nothing here okay it's in the middle so that's the only level that it can go for for the liquidity or maybe there are some you know fair value gaps order blocks or whatever so it didn't fulfill that requirement it came back went up now at this level it went to this there is a breaker block high low higher high liquidity grab market structure shift so in this case it should be these these two blocks okay now it's bearish breaker block and that gonna stop the bull bullish run okay let's see if that happened or not because what happened here price took some liquidity gave a market structure shift below this low here with a fair value gap this fair value gap was not tested however uh later on like it got tested or something yeah so now look at the price so here price didn't do what it wanted to do so if you had this as a target this 3.1 on and you got filled right here okay so yeah you have to look at the back i didn't look at the back that's why you can see like i'm actually fumbling and mumbling regarding this part because i didn't look at the back before so that's a proof of that as well anyway now what happens is price took the liquidity let me go to my video what did i say on my previous video i talked about the hourly fair value gap so highs are this specific this one and this one that's that's like one pip short this one is one pip short then exact equal so i'm targeting i'm hoping like not targeting i'm hoping price gonna target this next if it can go above these order blocks that price currently reacted from and then if i'm not wrong this is the fair value that price can respect and why is that because of this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency sitting inside of a sell side imbalance buy side inefficiency so there goes that part now let me go to the one hour and what happened here remember that equal high okay let me just take off these lines because that was just for the demonstration and that's also the all the, all the order block that i was talking about so market just reacted there so let me take off all the drawing okay so make it to to make it clear there goes the buy side liquidity that i was talking about on my yesterday's video that i'm gonna focus on this part yes i had options i had chances to take the trade but i didn't take the trade why i observed the market for a long time and then when i when it came to my criteria then i started uh, then i took the trade and that's why that's why i don't have losing trades so far okay because i don't trade straight away when i see there is something happening i want to know what's happening in the market so that's the buy side liquidity that i was talking about and there is the fair value gap that i said market may react from that did it happen so that's the hourly fair value gap okay so let me just write down hourly fair value now why i took this trade from here and then exited out below this like on this equal low it can go lower no problem with that i don't mind um, seeing price going lower or whatever because there are lots of areas where price can still go okay in 15 minutes there are some breakaway gaps that now price can refill or these all these lows are sitting in a 15 minutes fair value gap inside of a 15 minutes fair value gap so price if wants it can go and now this specific hourly fair value should work as a breakaway gap and if market wants to continue lower and this is the fair value that market should retest okay that's the hourly fair value i don't know because this candle didn't end yet it still has 20 minutes around 20 minutes to finish anyway why i took this entry and exited here i will explain now what happened here on the hourly chart market took the liquidity okay broke the structure why this is not a break of structure and this is a break of structure is because 
it's in my other video i don't want to go like too much with this but on the daily just look on the daily you will understand why i'm saying this as you can see the daily it just took liquidity and then closed above okay and then this was the next daily target that market went and closed above so this was the next daily target this is this sort of video is coming why i'm targeting what i'm targeting okay like why this is the next target i will have videos like that that's why i said like understanding the candles opening closing high and low is the most important lesson regarding trading anyway so this is a fair value that gonna be break away gap so price not gonna come to this fair value that's what i told on the previous video as well this is a fair value that price gonna retest price retested it and then went for the equal buy side liquidities that is this line from here and where it took it inside of a fair value gap right now it's coming down for these equal lows it can go lower i don't give a damn because i already made the profit that i wanted to make okay that's why i'm saying like i don't give a damn don't get me wrong why i didn't trade during the during this session because if you go to forest factory right on 8 30 a.m usd had a high impact news if i put my mouse pointer here it will show okay that's the dollar that had high impact news and when there is a high impact news at 8 30 usually people don't even try to trade okay. what was the effect of the event that's why i came down to the one minute candle and let me show you the effect of the event there was the inversion fair value that i was talking about from previous day's video remember this was the candle that retested exactly the low of the previous days inversion fair value if you don't want to uh, consider that one just consider this specific fair value this one and there is this order block with small fair value okay you can consider this as well so price came on top of that and then it started reacting but i don't want to be precised every time because that's not possible so that's your liquidity grab you can consider this high or this high as your market structure shift what happened here this is the highest up close candle that's what i'm gonna mark that's your breaker block price came on top started moving up right then there was an imbalance that price came and retested and with just one single candle just think about this you took the entry on the fair value let's say you didn't take it on the inversion fair value gap but on the fair value gap where would your stop loss be here on the lowest candle of the fair value or you can just put the at this low okay the order blocks low that's the maximum you can go lower because if you are wrong here you are wrong no matter wherever you put your stop loss and how far it went is 5.7 on <laughs> okay anyway i don't mind that's a one minute candle okay and believe me when i'm saying this it took less than 10 seconds to do this move from here to here first and then straight away to this hourly fair value gap and liquidity that i was talking about and then price you know like there is this fair value gap that price immediately filled up and then went up then some consolidation and you know accumulation of that liquidity here that's the retest of 25 percent came down again went up to the order block started going lower and showing some indication of going lower but during the event time just look at the weeks of every single candle like what is this do you want to enter into a trade inside of this consolidation period no so when did i enter i entered after everything finished but still this is why people when there is a high impact news on uh, 8 30 in the morning of new york time people don't trade at all okay but i still you know um had the setup ready that's why i took the trade anyway i'll show you what's what was the setup right now so yeah uh, overall that was the thought on the market from yesterday i was talking about this as well that price if price react uh, reacts from there shows the um, reaction i will go like this now why i took this entry let's talk about that 
you see this is 15 minutes candle this is where i took the entry just look at the level so right around this level why i'll tell you two things number one in hourly if you can see that is the fair value still retested the fair value went to the liquidity and another imbalance came below okay so this is the hourly fair value believe me i'm trying to give you the information okay i'm on 15 minutes now what is inside of that hourly fair value let me take off the new fair value gaps or stuff okay okay now let me show you what happened here you see the same thing here the immediate next candle filled up this much and then what happened market went for a liquidity grab right it it took the liquidity first with this came below what it became my 15 minutes inversion fair value right remember it's inside of a hourly fair value gap that was somewhat around this level now after this so what happened price took a higher time frame liquidity or you can consider here a beautiful liquidity grab here okay just leaving it like that now this is the market structure shift or break of structure right on 15 minutes which is a pretty high time frame as well and i took the trade on 15 minutes within 15 uh, 3 15 minutes candle i got my profit and now i don't care where market goes but i think this is the area and this is the fair value i was talking about since market is coming for these liquidities and already like did this fair value's job i'm thinking this breakaway gap will be filled right now and maybe even like market can take these liquidities and get back to the breakaway gap on more time anyway so what happened the uh, 15 minutes inversion fair value this one and let me just remove the hourly to make it clear to you guys let me just take it off now this entire block is called the breaker block because high low higher high okay and then market structure shift so breaker block and now in this specific case i should look at the um, black candle or bearish candle but since the low is on this green candle i'm going for the low as well and look what did i take the entry on the inversion fair value or there is another thing there is this fair value gap after the break of structure right that's the only fair value that price left so where can price retrace to here there is no reason for price to go there if it goes there it means it's going for the uh, liquidity again on the uh, on the top side after retesting this by uh, hourly fair value gap anyway so right here i have magnets on so it click me on this one i guess uh if i'm not wrong it clicked me on this one let me check yeah so because of the magnet it clicked me on this one instead of the 50 as you can see like it's already dragging me on on the candles right because i have magnets on anyway so if i put here a stop loss 10 pips or so yeah around this level because 10 pips on a 15 minutes time frame looks pretty good it was exactly uh, this and then I targeted the order blocks high like the extreme levels high so that's 2.1 the profit I got and I could get this 2.15 or if the entry was exactly on the 1.5 it could make me 2.23 R okay but anyway I don't bother with point something because 2 R is good enough for me that's what I figured out and that's why I'm targeting 2 R instead of 3 it, it went for 3 even more than three okay 3.36 but i don't i don't bother about that part okay so yeah um i took the entry because of the inversion fair value is here the only fair value after the market structure shift is here also the only fair value is there and the breaker block is there and look where it tapped the highest level where all three are matching okay don't get me wrong but this is why i i put too many influences together before taking a trade i have around at at least i have four confluences combining together at this specific level and price just tapped exactly that level 
and then it just started going down so i'm saying over and over again when there are lots of confluences like you need at least three i'm not if i'm not wrong liquidity grab market structure shift and a fair value gap or order block to enter into the trade so you need at least three and for my case i had liquidity grab of two different points price coming from a higher time frame point of interest after grabbing a liquidity gave a market structure shift had a one hour fair value gap inside of that 15 minutes inversion fair value gap had a breaker block had a fair value gap itself those are the reasons i was pretty confident I, as i said like i'm i think this time it's gonna continue with its move but since it's friday maybe later on it can come down as well and on my yesterday's video i also talked about the higher expansion expansion to the upside to reduce the fair value gap so now that the weekly is creating this market structure shift with i don't know where market gonna close but this fair value gap next week i don't know if it gonna first create another and keep it as a breakaway gap or not but like let's see where the market closes i'm thinking like price gonna go grab these liquidities inside of order block volume imbalance and the unfilled fair value like these areas or oh, they are a relative equal but it's gonna take time okay every week we won't be this good or this big okay so let's hope that everything works out properly and with that hope until next time take care bye bye and if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel i will add a proof of my uh, trade entry at the somewhat around inside of the video okay um, until next time bye bye